Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I'm going to share something that someone shared with me on Facebook. A lady named Joanne. I want you to hear this beautiful message because sometimes we forget to be thankful. We forget the things in our lives that we should definitely be appreciative of. And I want you to hear this. This will be someone else's voice. It won't take long. And then we will follow that with Pat's Two Cents. Listen. If you have food in the refrigerator, clothes on your back, a roof overhead, and a place to sleep, you are richer than 75% of this world. If you have money in the bank, in your wallet, in spare change, in a dish someplace, you are among the top 8% of the world's wealthy. If you woke up this morning with more health than illness, you are more blessed than the million who will not survive this week. Or who can't move a muscle. If you have never experienced the danger of battle, the loneliness of imprisonment, the agony of torture, or the pangs of starvation, you are ahead of 500 million people in the world. And we get picky. If you can attend a church meeting without fear of harassment, arrest, torture, or death, you are more blessed than three billion people in the world. That's right. If your parents are still alive and still married, you are very rare, even in the United States. That's right. If you hold up your head with a smile on your face and are truly thankful, you are blessed because the majority can, but most do not. That is very true. If you can hold someone's hand, hug them, or even touch them on the shoulder, you are blessed. Yes. Because you can offer a healing touch. You hear that? If you can read this message, you just received a double blessing that someone was thinking of you, and furthermore, you are more blessed than over two billion people in the world that cannot read at all. Isn't that beautiful? Now, I'm, I'm going to stop there because it can go on and on. But I just wanted it to be food for thought. This is Pat's Two Cents now. We have to remember how good God has been to us. We don't have to eat off the streets. We don't have to find a cardboard box to live in. You may have roaches in your apartment, or rats for that matter. But you have a roof over your head. You may have broken and cracked plates, but you have a plate to eat on and food to eat on it. Do you hear what I'm saying? Your house may be drafty, but you can stoke that fireplace and turn up the gas stove and turn on the heat and get warm. And if somebody, if the company turns your gas off, you can put your coats on and get warm. You, we don't realize how blessed we really are. We are so spoiled and pampered in this country. Remember to thank God. Rejoice in every mile that you have covered and appreciate every mountain you have climbed. Thank God for every ounce of experience. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. and thank him for the times even the, when you've cried or when you've been tried it's still a blessing because all things work together for good to us who love God and who are called according to his purpose God bless you God bless you with a grateful heart and Lord, help me keep a grateful heart as well. In the name of Jesus, as Tiny Tim used to say, 
in the Scrooge movie. God bless us, everyone. <laughs> Amen. <laughs>